Welcome, Spread fans, to another great episode. I'm here with Jay Dash in the football return of JK47. 47, where you been? Working like a dog. Hiding. I'm telling you. Slaving around. Were you working for Hillary Clinton? Who, me? He said working like a dog, not for a dog. Oh, okay, my bad. Misunderstood. Yeah. Well, anyway, we're going to talk about the Steelers' wide receivers, talk about the depth chart. It's so early, so this is completely unofficial. I, I honestly just kind of want to get your guys' opinion on who's going to be the odd man out. I believe there's a chance they could carry six wide receivers if they don't bring in another tight end, but that's, again... I'll have to wait and see for that. It's way too early. But as of right now, obviously Antonio Brown's your number one guy. Then behind him, you have Martavis Bryant, Eli Rogers, Sammy Coates, Kobe Hamilton, Demarcus Ayers, Justin Hunter, Juju Schuster Smith or Smith Schuster, whatever his name is, and Darius Hayward Bay. There's a ton of receivers. How many is that? Nine. Yeah, somebody's getting cut. Please believe they're probably like I said. At most, they're gonna probably carry six, and you might be able to practice squad some of these guys. Maybe Kobe Hamilton, but Justin Hunter, I'm pretty sure with his veteran status, he won't be able to go on the practice squad. You're not gonna put Juju Smith Schuster on the practice mm-hmm. squad because you just drafted him second round, and Eli Rogers has probably played too many games to have any eligibility. So and he that- he got to be one of the five. Eli Rogers is too good. You would think. I mean, Antonio Brown and Martavis Bryant are your one-two as long as Bryant keeps his head in the yeah, game. Yeah, and then and like you said, Smith Schuster, Eli Rogers, that's four. And then at, at least one more, like you said, maybe two. But I would think probably just one more. Yeah, and DeMarcus Ayers showed some flashes last year. Pretty much the same flash that Sammy Coates showed his rookie year. Coates had a great fi- first five games last year and then caught maybe one pass the whole rest of the year. There's reports that his hand is still mangled, so I think that injury will have a lot to do with it. Maybe they can put him on the pup list to start the year. Maybe they can put him on injured reserve. <clears throat> Who, Sammy or DeMarcus? Sammy. Yeah, I... Uh... If you can do that, go ahead. If not, I would not be mad if they cut ties with him. Yeah, I mean, there was a report the other day that they might allow teams to bring two guys back off of injured reserve this year. So if they do that, I bet you Sammy Coates is one of the guys that at least initially goes on it. And I'd have no problem with that, and I'd like that, actually, to open up what do you some think, room. What do you think of Justin Hunter, 47? I have no opinion about Justin Hunter. Is that that Tennessee <laughs> Titan? He, Yeah, he was a high pick for Tennessee. He moved on to Buffalo last year. Didn't have a very big year. They kind of used him sparingly. He's a bigger guy at like 6'4", 220, somewhere around there. So he's going to be a good red zone target. He was thought to be explosive early in his career. It just never kind of panned out that way. Yeah, I mean, it's going to be, be him between him, Darius Hayward Bay, and Demarcus Ayers for that last spot then, right? You would think Kobe Hamilton's definitely out. I don't think Man, Kobe's Kobe Hamilton special. wasn't terrible either necessarily, but I don't know. He can't go in the practice squad? Maybe. That's the one guy I would think might still have some eligibility. But if you put him there, somebody might scoop him up because he did play well last year. Right, but I wouldn't be too mad if that happened. You know what I mean? If they want him, go ahead and take him. That's what I'm saying. Kobe's a good guy. He seems like he's going to be a good receiver core type player but he's never going to amount to anything more than a number three and that's not even right now yeah and i feel like they have two good number threes right now so 47 would you give juju smith schuster a chance to start right away opposite antonio brown no i would not well you know what let him compete for it in camp see if he all plays (laughs) so yes you would give him a chance yeah, I definitely. Why you're, not? you're 100% yeah. correct with Martavis Bryant being a douchebag for the past couple of years. There's no reason not to. What Eli comes, Rogers yeah. isn't going to be the number two. He'll be three at best. And if uh, Smith Schuster shows something and Martavis Bryant is a beast, then maybe Eli moves to number four. Yeah. See what the kid can do. Might as well. I think if Bryant lives up to his expectations, you have him and Brown on the outside. 
and then maybe Eli starts the year as number three, but Juju might move into that spot as the year goes on. The one knock on uh, Smith-Schuster coming out of college was he doesn't get good separation from the defensive back. So at the NFL level, these guys are bigger, stronger, and faster. So he might struggle with that early, and that could be why he doesn't get to that number three spot right away. Although I can pretty much guarantee, unless he completely How tall tanks, is he? he's going to be on it. Uh, six four six something like that. Yeah, that's he's a, a he's that's tall. an odd slot receiver to me too, man. I feel like Antonio Brown's supposed to be that guy. Well, yeah. yeah you, Juju will probably start there, though. I mean, maybe as his career progresses, you might move Brown in there, or you might do it on certain plays. But I think the he he would probably start off at three at the highest. Well, you yeah. know, I'd like to think too. You know, you're definitely going to move Antonio Brown ar- around. You're not going to yeah. see him always on the outside. You're definitely going to see him move into that slot where you can take where you can take advantage of that linebacker or that nickel coverage. Right. So I mean, if this guy. Proves to be a reliable downfield threat, or even if well, he six has, four, I, I'm yeah. hoping he's going to be. That's why I, I mean, or unless he, he's running like some kind of wheel route. But you know, even if he has the hands too, you know, you got to wonder about that. How is he going to? Is he going to be able to hold on to the football? Well, he can't be no worse than uh, Lima Sweet. I tell you that. Although that was their last time they drafted a wide receiver in the second round. Believe it. If he's anything like Limus, cut him now. Linus. All right, Dash, so if you have to pick Kobe Hamilton or Sammy Coates between those two guys. I think you're not going to have to. I think they're both going to go unless you can put one on the pup list, like you said, or whatever. But I would choose Sammy Coates. All right, then Sammy Coates or DeMarcus Ayers? DeMarcus Ayers. DeMarcus Ayers or Justin Hunter? DeMarcus Ayers. Ayers or Hayward Bay? DeMarcus Ayers. Mm, You're big on him. 47, like what about you? Kobe Hamilton or Sammy Coates? Coates. Coates or Ayers? Coates. I like the speed. Coates or Hunter? Coates. Coates or Hayward Bay? Mm. Coates. Yeah. <laughs> Sticking with it. So 47 wants to cut everybody except Sammy Coates. No, it's it's hard <laughs> to say. I'm not going to necessarily say that. I mean, I just like his speed. I think if he can hit, figure out how to hold on to the football, I think well, he could dude, be a special player. We'll see if he has five fingers going into this season. Yeah, because all the reports are saying his hand is just completely mangled. So what, is he going to chumps Peterson it out on the uh, <laughs> yeah, football for real. field? If it wasn't, you'd think he would have tweeted a picture of it by now. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, that's why I don't want him back. Oh, I, not that I don't want him back, but I wouldn't give – him the spot over someone who I think could help more. I agree. I mean, Hayward Bay is probably going to be one of the guys just because he's older, cap casualty, whatever. But his his experience on special teams is real big. If Justin Hunter can fill that void for Hayward Bay, I think he'll get the spot over Bay this year. But I would see Kobe Hamilton, and I probably agree with you, Dash. Sammy Coates could definitely be two of the guys that are going to go. I see Kobe Hamilton is out. I mean, I like the guy. He, he has some fire, but he doesn't offer anything special. He's not a speedster. He's not big. It's not like he's a Heinz Ward possession type guy. He's just a good guy to have on your team. And it, at this point, he becomes expendable when you have nine wide receivers. Believe it. So you have Brown, Bryant, Eli Rogers, and Smith Schuster's four. Let's say they only keep five. So who's your fifth one? Woo. I'm going to say if they can't stash DeMarcus Ayers on the practice squad, I would keep him. I like his potential. I agree with that. If they can stash him on the practice squad and feel like he'll be okay there, I would maybe keep Hayward Bay as of right now, but that's because I haven't seen Justin Hunter do anything. And, you know, once we see him in preseason and stuff, that may change. Yeah, so Coates and Hamilton are the two to definitely go. That, I mean, for me, I wasn't big on Sammy Coates when they drafted him. Not that I'm going to sit here and say I predicted he'd be a flop. We just The one thing we talked about a lot, Dash, when we brought him, brought him in is the fact that he dropped 20% of the passes that came his way in college. And now that he only has one hand, that number is definitely going to go up. Yeah, should be cut in half, I would think. Yeah, I mean, I guess there's a small chance you move one of these guys for like a sixth round pick if they have a good camp and, you know, that you obviously can't keep nine. 
So there's that possibility, but I, I doubt it. It's probably going to be more of a cut bait. Trade four of them for something. I mean, hey, we always want to trade some all team our bad an entire wide player. receiver court. We could trade uh, three wide receivers for one cornerback. It don't matter, man. Just give the ball to James Conner. I mean, between Connor and Le'Veon Bell, they should run the ball 500 total times this year. It'd be 600 if you had Dre Archer. Yeah. <laughs> what about Fitz Toussaint? He's out, right? Yeah. I mean, uh, really behind Bell and Connor, uh, I don't think it matters at this point. Yeah, it's probably going to be now Davis because he returns kicks well. That's what I would think at first anyway. I used to like now Davis. Yeah, he was a good back at one point. Well, 47, thanks for taking time out of your work schedule to join us here on this exhausting episode of The Spread. Dash, as always, thanks for putting in your hard work. Fans, questions, or comments, hit us up on Twitter at Fed underscore The Spread. Hit me up on Twitter at Fed Jim the Win. Check out our Facebook page, facebook.com slash Fed The Spread. Let everybody know. Everybody wants to hear it. Football season's only about 112 days away.